Okay, today we're going to have a look to see if we can get a PlayStation 3 heatsink for the PlayStation 3 board. Now this is an 80 gigabyte PlayStation 3. Um, it's got both heat seals or heat pads on the chips. And we're going to see if we can remove the glue using some, or trying it, super glue remover and some no nonsense sealant remover. This is from Screwfix. It's from B&Q. Apparently you can do it with pallet knives, which I've got. But the last one I tried scratched and tail, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of the glue with the brush down this side, and then try and get it off with either a pallet knife or dental floss. See if we can cut through it. Don't know if it's going to work, but let's see how we get on. The um, frost can get up right under that chip to the back. So with a bit of luck I can actually push this sealant remover under the chip. Okay, so I've just brushed a little bit on and put it underneath. It's quite smelly. Leave it on for a few minutes to see if it actually melts stuff out. I don't think it would, but it might do. Right, I've been brushing the um, remover into this for some time now. And um, we're getting this white paste stuff come out. Sorry the camera isn't too good on this. Hmm. I'll keep going and see if it'll come off later. Okay, so you can see what the spatula now is completely underneath the chip. I've been wiggling it in for ages with the help of this no nonsense and this super glue remover. If anything, it's made it a little bit smoother to go in. Let's see what it looks like. Have I damaged the chip? We'll find out in a minute. Okay, a little while later, and I've actually got the um, heat sink off there. And unfortunately, as you can see there, it's scratched. I've got some pictures to show next. I don't think they're cut, but they're definitely grazed. So the only thing to do now is heat gun it, get it to go back down, um, re um, what do you call it? Heat paste it. Put it all back together, see if it works. I'm thinking it won't, but let's try. Now here's the PlayStation 3, it's back together. Now you know I scratched a chip on it, as the little pictures showed. But as you can see, it's powered on. Hard drive's in. And on the TV. We're up and running. Unfortunately, though, the pad what I've got is not charged. So as far as I can do is testing it at the minute. But we can put a game in it and see what happens. Also, if you listen to it. I don't know if you can hear that. but it's not gone mad on the old fan. Now this machine was not starting at all, it was just a red light of death flashing, overheated and dead. So what I did is um, I got those chips, uh, heat sinks off. Then I reflowed the chips with hot air gun, which I'll show you so, in a second. I got myself a little cheapy soldering station. This one was about 40 pound. And what I did, I used the non-clean flux, like a liquid which you just pour onto the chip and then use the little gun you heat the chip up it starts bubbling and popping which i found it actually popped tonight we should have filmed it but my phone wasn't really working it's hard to do that and film but that's my little soldering line back to the playstation anyway now we're back and um 
as I say, put it all back together and was 50-50 chance, turned it on, I thought it might go bang or, or just fuss up and nothing happened. Let's say we've got perfect graphics, even though that chip is scratched up. Okay, uncharted 3. Goes in. Let's see, let it start. We've seen it. It's going to start. Spin a ring. So you can see the graphics aren't fucked or things seem to be working. Wireless controller not detected. I'm sure well, if the graphics were bad, it just wouldn't be working whatsoever. So yeah. Proof what you can actually revive one of these old PlayStation 3s. Now this is an 80 gig and my goal is to do it to my 60 gig. Get that one reworking. Online and on the internet where I found this fix, it says, well, if you can get this to work, actually work and not kill it first, it will last for a long, long time. So, uh, hopefully. And also this one, where I did put the heat, heat paste on, um, I didn't really do much with it. I have just put a tiny blob on it. I know for sure what I'll be putting much more heat paste on the next one I do. But it'd be fun to find out how long this is going to last. I'm going to leave it running. And once I get my pad charged, I'll show you the game. Okay, I've had some major problems with this. Um, my pad wasn't connecting to it, so I've got this fake PlayStation pad, which is connecting. Um, typical, isn't it? Pads die as soon as you make something. But remember, it's got a scratch chip, so I was worried that it's not going to work. I'm actually quite liking this game. It's like the first time I actually got to play it. Right, obviously the load time has been cut. It took forever. And it's just hanging on in there. Don't play this one end. Who dropped knife to his death? Oh, at the end of his rope. Let's let go. Sorry, knife. Anyway, so as you can see, it does actually work. Two deaths, two to go. So yeah, even with scratch chip, it's actually working, and um. Next thing to do now is to hack it. It's on version 1.3 minimum version. So um, if you want to see how it's done, come back on the next video. Thanks for watching this and goodbye for now. Successful repair. See you on the next one. Okay, today we have a 60 gigabyte PlayStation 3, a backwards compatible one, so it's a backwards compatible chip, a motion engine, and graphics. You can see the graphics one's gone blue, but it's still silver. This must have overheated on this version. So, what we're going to do today is repaste it. I've cut the um, silicon paste off using 
uh, what they called a painting knife. Uh, show you what it is. Okay, so a painting knife. Um, well, actually, it's a palette knife. One of these flat bladed ones, which is kind of curled up at the end. What you have to do is slide under and break the seal. It's hard to do when it actually looks. When you actually take off the thing, you see this heat sink. And when you take these off first time, you'll see what the um, heat paste is actually completely ruined. This one is the graphics card. And this is slightly easier to get off. You just have to kind of pop it off. I was also using super glue remover. And for this one, super glue remover. And for this one, no nonsense sealant remover. Which I think helps because it does kind of melt the, the silicon sealant. But also it gives you kind of like um, lubricant so it doesn't scratch your chips badly. I think this one's only got one small scratch on it. Which I'm hoping it's not going to do anything bad to it. Small scratches around about here. You can see it on here. Anyway, what we're going to do now is clean them off with some cleaning spray. Got some WD-40 contacts cleaner. And then we're going to put some heat on them. With a little solder station. This is one of them cheap solder stations, but it seems to work okay. Um, I'm using some liquid flux to do that. And we'll do that in a second. Right, so it's got the contact cleaner on there, just let it sit for a minute or two. And then give it a wipe with just a piece of tissue. That should come off clean. And then we'll be ready to go.